welcome back to some more Minecraft. Last time we were here, Golem came and joined us and protected me from multiple deaths. And I lost everything a few times. He lent me some elytra and then very kindly gave me an unenchanted one. And off stream yesterday, I went and got a bunch of levels and enchanted some of my stuff, but it's not quite back up to where it used to be. So today, I think I'm going to start out focusing, trying to get some more of my gear better enchanted. And then I don't really know what we'll get into. We'll just see where the day takes us. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the game. All right, here we are. Just one moment, I need a cough. Okay, there we go. I'm so sorry if I coughed in the mic. I thought I had it turned off. Okay, so here we are, back at home. It's my box that Golem gave back to me. Got a couple Fortune 3 books, and I don't have Fortune on my picks. Here's what I've been able to manage to do. Uh, we've got this, 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 this. Boots are pretty good. Not bad. I don't know if I've ever had Depth Strider boots before. I hope I like them. Uh, I got infinity back on my bow. Got looting on my sword. I think I got. I think I've got mending on all my gear that can have mending. Silk touch axe. We got a silk touch pick. Got my bucket and my bed back. Got some rockets. Um, looks like my music might be just a tad loud. Let me turn that down just a little bit. Let's see. Let's try it. Maybe, honestly, maybe even a little bit lower. Let's try it like this. Hopefully that's not too, too quiet. I need it to be a little lower so I can turn my Minecraft sounds back up because I, I won't make excuses for myself. I'm pretty bad at this game and I'm very out of practice, but I think not being able to hear things caused me some, oh, it's, I set on hard. Oh, I set it on hard. No wonder. <laughs> I had it set to normal before. I think I want it set on hard though. I want to get better at this game and we'll get better if we don't challenge ourselves. Um, I also had a lot of lag and issues last time. I was playing, I couldn't see the shulkers, I couldn't see Golem, it was just a big crazy mess. Um, you know what, it's still a little too loud for me. This music here. Let me try it like that, because I just hear music, I don't hear game sounds. I feel like that's a better balance for me. Alright, so we gotta get levels, and I think the best way to do that is villager trading. I was hanging out at the... at the skeleton spawner we have, and it is just so slow. Just so slow. So I think I will... What do I have in here? chest plate and a chest. I think I'll go into the basement. Let's do this so I don't maybe lose all my stuff again. And I also found out the hard way that you have to break these with a silk touch pick. Uh, let's go in the basement and see if I have any stuff. Em emeralds or good things to trade with the villagers and we'll head over to the village. Which I guess is kind of be a little bit of a boring stream. I apologize for that. <laughs> but I think we could also do some caving because I took a little chest of valuables over to Golem and I mean we do have a lot but I would like to have more of this all of this stuff and do we have any crops or anything that they might want to trade for oh yeah we've got a lot of this stuff let's take these We'll leave at least one full stack of everything, I guess. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, these are baked potatoes? We should try to eat these, I think. 
I'll keep steak for now, I guess. I did a little farming. I also think it would be worth my time to start working on building some automatic farms. Because a little bit too much work to be going around. Let's do this. Beets are terrible food. Oh, nobody trades for apples, actually. Um, it's a little bit too much work to be going around manually farming. And we have... Oh yeah, we have a skeleton spawner we, a farm, we have a creeper farm, we have a very, very small sugarcane farm. I've got a few things automated in my village nightmare mess. <laughs> um, now we've got those guys that trade for sticks. I have a lot of sticks over there, I took a bunch of wood over there. Um, what else do they trade? Somebody who trades for arrows, I think? We have a lot of arrows. Let's take some stacks of arrows and see if any of them trade for arrows over there. That would be a good thing that we have lots of access to at the skeleton spawner if we can get emeralds and levels out of that. And maybe we have a lot of sugarcane in here. We'll take some of this too. Yeah, so I think we need to build automatic farms. I don't think we're going to be doing that today though because I need to look up some tutorials. Let's just take that. And then, is there anything else I can think of that, I think they trade for light gray wool, dark gray wool, black, and maybe white. And I did breed a ton of sheep out front. I suppose we could go shear. I did bring a wool trading villager back to the back farm area several months ago as well. Let's sleep real quick. And we've got those farmers over there, but I think my farm design that I copied is not very efficient. Like it does work, but it doesn't work particularly well. We get a lot, they bone meal a lot of the crops. And I was watching Hermitcraft last night and who was it? I don't remember which one of them it was I was watching, but one of them, was doing a farm, maybe it was Izuma? Was doing a farm design where he had like a villager, maybe where that torch is, and then a fence on either block, and then two farms on each side, and the villagers that were farmers would try to throw, I believe it was farm, oh my gosh, look at that lag. I believe it was trying to farm potatoes. So they would throw potatoes at the villager in the middle and they would drop down into hoppers. And I think that might be something we could do over here with our system, but we're also not gonna do that today. I'll have to, I'll have to research it a little bit more, but we could probably extend these out by one block and put some dudes in the center that they could throw something at? I don't know. Uh, I got a little stuff. Is this broken? Please don't be broken. Nope, it's okay. Yeah, because it does, it does work. And that's great, because I don't know anything about redstone, but... Not that I designed it or anything, but I copied it. <laughs> Okay, but I think we need greater efficiency, especially if we're going to try to learn to play on hard mode and if we're going to play with Golem sometime. I got to learn how to up my game a little bit so I can keep up. And if I'm going to do that, I'm going to die a lot. And if I'm going to die a lot, <laughs> I'm going to need easy access to levels and emeralds and things. So let's go over here and see if we can trade with these guys a little bit. Uh, whatever I brought on me. Do I have any extra stuff here? We'll take these. And we'll take these. And if we have room, we'll take these. Let's see. Would you like to trade with me? And I'm wondering if we could get these guys to deliver us some crops as well. Like maybe we could put a villager down here that they would throw it at and put a hopper underneath or perhaps in the back like the back of these machines there's room and there's not really 
much going on down here, although I don't know if they can see back here. I don't know. This, this design I found, I can't remember who it was by, but I found this design and it was supposed to be that these farmers would drop crops into these chests, but it never actually worked and I'm not sure why. I don't know enough about redstone to fix it and it was, I think it was also like two versions ago when I built this, so I doubt if it still works the same way. But they do, I mean, it does at least offer easy access for trading, so I don't really consider it a loss or anything. Alright, do as much as we can here. Uh, is that all you can do? Can you trade some potatoes? No more pumpkins for this guy. Alright. And you? Want to trade anything? There we go. Yeah, this is so much better for levels. Oh, I need another melon to do that. How about you? Where'd your trap door go? Not enough. Not enough. I don't think we have any wheat left on us. Alright, there we got 48 emeralds. That's not too bad. Ooh, there's some, whoops. Oh no, don't waste rockets. Also, if I'm going to start flying, I should get a, sugar, a much more efficient sugarcane farm built. How's the carrot production going? Ooh, very well. For some reason, this guy is such a more efficient farmer than that one over there, and I'm not sure why because it's the same farm design. I wonder if it's because I only have the cart running under one farm over here versus it's running under both farms over there, if perhaps that has items despawning or they're holding on to them more because they can see each other. I don't know what it is, but we get way more out of this guy than we do out of the other one. Uh, I think only this guy trades for carrots, the other ones I have to go into the farms to do it. There we go. Good stuff. Alright, let's see if we can hold some more of those. And maybe I will... Mm. Oh, let's get rid of this. Take the rest of them? Can we have them? Don't want those seeds. There we go. Now we got the carrots. Let's go trade with this guy. Oh, if I can get up. Come here. I had planned on making easier access to these guys in the farm pods, but I actually think this thing with the trapdoors is working okay so far. It's not the most convenient, but mm, it works fine. For now. Oops. Hello, buddy. Oh, I'm out. Mm, do I have anything else I'll trade for? I don't have enough beets. I don't have enough melons. That's it. I have some potatoes. We can go see if this guy trades, but I don't think he trades for... If he does trade for potatoes, I don't think he trades for such a low number of them. You trade for potatoes, sir? You do, but I don't have enough. Alright, thank you for your time. We'll put this stuff back in the crops. Bin bins? Crop chests? And then I'm gonna go see some Fletchers and see if they'll buy arrows. I hope one of them does. That would be so nice. 
All right, there's that, there's this, there's this. We can make paper out of this and trade it for emeralds for sure, though. I'm not sure what all books and enchantments I need any... Like, I on the last stream, I hovered over everything because I had a feeling I was probably going to die. Uh, so I can go back and look. I could also go check online and see what are the best enchantments. Might be a good idea. Let's take this stuff for the Fletchers. One of them is mad at me because I killed a villager. Hopefully he's over it by now. And while I was off stream playing, I also picked up a bunch of mending books. I picked up, I think I picked up some looting books and some protection and various stuff. This guy was so mad at me. Huh, he didn't reset his trade. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm not really sure how that mechanic functions. I gave them back their tables because I thought that they would reset. But maybe not. He'll still go a little more. All right, that's all he'll do. So I'll put those back in. And do you trade for arrows at all, sir? So you do feathers. You do regeneration arrows. That's kind of cool. I want to play with some of this stuff. I, I think I should do a little research and do... Oh my gosh, it's such a mess in here. Do some something with this crazy villager mess find out like which ones are the best to have and which trades are the best to have and try to get a smaller number of contained villagers with the most useful professions so we don't have to deal with this <laughs> anymore because it's crazy let's go see if anybody down here trades for paper do you you do you want to trade for some oh i don't have any i didn't make it whoops um I put these chests in here, which I think will ultimately be a nice idea. Double chests would be better. And we could fit them, actually, but it's okay for now. It's our mending boy over here. I'd love to get a double chest of mending books. In case he dies. Or something wipes out the whole village and we would have to start over from scratch. That sounds like a nightmare. But eh, it wouldn't be too bad. I'm better at dealing with them than I used to be. Let's get this paper. Oh, there we go. You don't trade for paper, do you? Oh, you do? Okay, let's trade with him. Okay, so he does mending, loyalty, and respiration too. I'm not really sure what the difference is between Respiration and Aqua Affinity. But I thought I remembered that my old helmet had Aqua Affinity on it, so that's what I went for. Uh, let's take a nap and then... Maybe I will get on my phone real quick and bring up... Best Armor Enchantments or something. And we can see if we have any of those books. Let's see, the five best enchantments. Minecraft best enchantments. Mm. Oh, I don't want to read a whole article. I wish it would just give me a list of like, do this. For your chest plate, put this. For your helmet, put this. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Helmet says mending. Protection or projectile protection or blast protection or fire protection. What do I have on there right now? Projectile protection, unbreaking. So let's look for an unbreaking book. Respiration, aqua affinity, and thorns? I don't think I want thorns because if Bashi ever comes back and plays with me, he's also bad at this game and we hit each other accidentally. Sometimes I don't want to hurt him. So what are we looking for? We're looking for unbreaking and respiration. And I think we saw a guy who does respiration. 
down here in the mess. You don't, right? You do mending loyalty. You do do respiration. I feel like I saw somebody who did respiration three, though. Not you. Looting and blast protection. Projectile protect. That's pretty good. You just do paper. You don't have a job. What do you do? Paper. And you? Silk touch. My man. We gotta get your lectern back. Infinity. Bane of arthropods. I don't feel like Bane of arthropods is a very good enchantment. Fire aspect. Sharpness, multi shot, and channeling. I don't know if this is a very good villager. Feather falling three. That's nice. I got some of those last time. What do you do? Impaling? Is that you? Loyalty, projectile pr protection, piercing. And you? I'm breaking three. That's what I wanted, right? Yep. All right, we got to get some books. Let's see if I can put a torch so I know where he is. Somebody had books in their chest. Was it the mending guy? I should have grabbed them when I saw them the first time. There we go. Let's take all this stuff out of his chest. Wait, is that XP? Whoa, got it all turned around. Is there XP stuck behind him? Yes, that's bad. I need to fix this farm design then for sure because I want all that XP. All right, hello, sir. You wanna do a little bit of trading with me? You're kind of expensive. Oh no, not feather falling. Wait, what? Was it you? It's you. There you are. Let's get a few of these. Uh, that's all we can have. What do you have? Flame? That's it? Quick charge. I don't know what quick charge is. Impaling and fortune. I think I got enough fortune books to put at least fortune three on everything. They're in my shulker box. Let's see. I'm breaking. One, two, three, four. Five. Let's try to get like six of those books, maybe? Still got some paper. Oh dear, what a mess. It's so disorganized. It stresses me out a little bit. Let me go back to Mending Guy who trades for paper and see if... I think he locked the trade out, didn't he? No, he didn't. You need some more emeralds? Not very many. The mending books are such a good price, I think. Um, but we have so many already. Was respiration the one I needed? Somebody did a better respiration, but this is pretty cheap, so let's buy it. Alright, we'll put the books back. And let's go with this for now, I guess. Oh wait, I wanted to see if anybody traded for arrows. We've got a couple Fletchers. Hello. You don't do it the way I would like you to. Uh, I think I checked these two guys already, but let me check them one more time and then we'll go. You'll trade for more sticks? That's just fine with me. I thought they were supposed to reset their trades twice a day, but things may have changed since I last looked that up. And I think I might leave some emeralds over here. Oh, look, his prices are higher, probably because I killed that guy. So we might need to make some kind of villager disposal system as well. They don't 
get mad at me. So I think I might leave a few arrows over here since this guy trades for special arrows. And in the future, I would really like to have a little stockpile of those and play with them and see what they do. Uh, we got 38 emeralds. Should we get another Unbreaking book if we can? I think so. I put all my books away. Oops. I think he was down here. I want to relabel these guys too. But not today. That's all we can get. Two, three, four, five, six. I think that I wanted six. Uh, I've got 15 emeralds left. That's probably not enough to get books. Any more books? We could get something from him, maybe. Get another mending book. Or did I get a respiration book? Yes. Oh, so I'm one unbreaking book short of where I wanted to be. In that case. Let's go with what we've got and get some more sugarcane for paper. I'm gonna, I should put these books back in his chest or I'm gonna wonder where they're at later. Okay. Uh, what else can I trade? Maybe we can check on the crops and see. We can get some more emeralds now. Ugh. So slow. Look at all this stuff just hanging out. Hmm. I Oh, I don't think the cart goes all the way to the edge of this. I think it only goes... I don't know. I probably need to fully redo that one. Oh, let's chop this sugar cane that's grown. If you guys have any suggestions for really good automated crop farms or any automated farms, let me know and I'll look them up. Want to trade? Uh, the wheat guy. Whoops. <laughs> Was it you? I don't have enough. What about you? Nope. Okay. Let's put it away. The music is so slow today. Let me see if I can refresh it and get some more slightly more upbeat songs it's nice but maybe a little too chill makes me want to go take a nap <laughs> okay um let's see let's put this sugar cane in this guy's barrel over here might as well pick that piece up since I saw it Ooh, and you know what we can do now? <laughs> yeah, it's so fast! This is awesome. Alright, let's go... What was I gonna do? Oh, let's do the enchanting before anything bad happens to me. We've got a few levels. We should be able to do some of it. Got these two fortune books I was gonna try to combine. And then I think maybe I wanna go mining. Let me see. I'd really like to get some more iron and the new blocks and see if we find any of the new stuff in the caves. <clears throat> so we'll probably have to fly out. And I think I might go. I don't really want to go north since Golem's base is up there. I don't want to infringe on his territory at all. 
So let's see what do I have on me that doesn't have Unbreaking on it, and let's put Unbreaking on it. Let's put it on the bow first, that's important to me. What about the sword? That one's fine. The pick is fine. This one needs it. This is not really as important as the armor and stuff, though. That one's fine. Uh, this one's fine. Do the boots have it? They do not. Ooh, we're gonna run out of levels very soon. That might be the last one we can do right now. How about the pants? Oh, we can do this one. Okay. And then the rest might have to wait. <clears throat> Maybe I can put them in here? I don't really want to carry them with me if I go caving. In case we lose it all again. I Oh, I should should put respiration on the helmet. Let me try it. I doubt if I can do it for three levels. No, I didn't think so. That's okay. We should get levels if we go mining. Oh, we go mining. I set it on why did I set it on hard mode? <laughs> oh dear. I got confident. Um let's see. I really want to take this with me, but I'm terrified I'm not gonna be able to replace it if I lose it. The shulker box more than the ender chest, but kind of both a little bit. <clears throat> um I should have left the emeralds over there as well. I'll put them as storage system. We're definitely going to want more blocks. I don't really think I need to... Oh no, I do need to take my elytra and rockets because I'm going to fly... I haven't decided what direction. East or west or... Maybe south? Mm. Let's head into the basement. We definitely, definitely need to grab some stuff to prepare. We're gonna need blocks, we're gonna need, uh-oh, torches. And what else would we take? I don't know. <clears throat> Let's put these emeralds in here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need a cough. Let's grab some blocks. That's probably more than enough. Let's get more torches. I'm so tempted to go reset the difficulty back to normal. Ooh, I kind of want to do it. I'm very scared to lose all this stuff. I think what I'll do is I'll fly whatever direction I'm going to go. I'll take the elytra off and I'll put it in the ender chest. So at least we won't lose that. And then we're just going to go absolutely torch wild. A oh, wood. We should take wood. Let's take some wood. Sink. I think we have, s there's one kind of wood that we had like far, far, far too much of. Come on. Oh, game, please don't lag out on me. I think it was spruce. Or dark oak, maybe? We got a lot of birch. Let's take birch. All right. Let's get that shulker box back out. I really want to get better so I can go get some more of these as well. We'll take our wood, we'll take our extra torches. Mm, actually, I'll keep two stacks on me. Uh, what else would I need? Should we take an extra bucket in case we find an axolotl? Eh, 
and maybe hmm what else do we want to take with us it's been so long since i've been caving we've got more than enough food i would say we've got arrows we got an infinity bow torches silk touch i might leave the axe in here Uh, and what else do we need? Goodness. I suppose we could take a furnace with us so we don't have to make it later. Mm, sure, why not? Take a furnace and a crafting table? Seems a little overkill, but... <laughs> <laughs> now that I notice it's set on hard, I'm scared. Wait. This way. It's been so long. Alright. Let's put this away. Let's put this in here. extra bucket and then I think I think we're gonna go get our chest plate get a chest got the ender chest oh goodness I'm scared <laughs> we get a drink and we'll go fly what direction do I want to go I think If I recall correctly, south was just like a huge ocean. So maybe east or west? Let's sleep. I think I've gone... Let me see. When I wake up, I'll F3 and check. I think, cause I think I've gotten... This is west. I think I've gone west the most. I think we came from the east from the original spawn. Uh, let's leave it up. There's a zombo. Uh, I guess west. Let's go west. Let's go west. Hopefully, I don't run into somebody else's base again. If we do, we'll just keep traveling, because I don't want to mess anything up for anyone else. Let's see if we can get into some new chunks. The rockets make it so much easier. Now, let's see if I can spot any of this new stuff. I'd love to see a glow squid. I know we've been over here before. We found a lot of coal in these mountains. <laughs> I guess I should keep an eye on my elytra's durability too. I know we've been through here, spruce forest. I do believe we've seen that village before. I think I came quite far out this way. One of the, ooh, that was a nice ravine. One of the last times Bashi was on, I was out here and I had a really hard time coming home to meet him. It's a big fire over there. This is still looking kind of familiar. Be cool if we found a uh oh. Be cool if we found a new temple or something. Hmm. I think we've been all the way out here as well. See if we can get to maybe like negative 1500 or even, ooh, that looks new. Negative 2000 maybe? I really want to make sure we get new generation.
the swamp. This still looks kind of... Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Wow. This place is beautiful. Whoa. If this were a new world, I'd probably be very tempted to settle down here by this swampy river. Mm, it's more dark. Forest. Some... Little islands. I think we might be starting to get it in new stuff now. Perhaps. I really like the way the deeper water looks in the swamplands. It's awesome. And we're back to ocean. I think let's go to negative 1500 or so, and we'll sit down and see if we can find anything new. Guess I sh maybe should have brought a map with me. <clears throat> this is a beautiful place. village. Alright, do I see any holes in the ground? Let's see if I can get a little more flat land. Ooh, it's so laggy! Here in this big field. Oh no, I think I have been over here. I found sunflower fields to the west. Oh no. Maybe I should have gone south. Here's a cave. Should I try to land down here? I think so. There's a goat! I've never seen a goat before. It's cute. And llamas, too? Alright, where was that hole? Down here? Alright. Here we go. Wish me luck. Torches to the left. Don't die. Not rockets, torches. Oh dear. Oh, you know what? Before we go in there... Just in case. <laughs> Let me get some of this stuff out of here. Do this. Let's break this. this and this here we go wish me luck oh it's not a cave oh no that's fine we'll dig down if we need to some coal. I'm a little surprised it's not a cave. What level am I at? 
68? I guess I'm a little high. Alright, we're just gonna go for a little bit of everything. Hopefully we find new stuff. If we get down here and it all looks like the same old stuff, we'll leave and fly further away. Eh, it doesn't really look like a cave though. Alright, let's leave. Dang it, I was so hyped up. I'm sure there probably is one around here somewhere. So maybe we just go look. See if we can find another entrance to a cave. Hello, little goat. Please don't hit me. Not sure how you guys work, but I don't want to get hurt. Maybe down here? seeing anything. Some squid. Regular squid. Maybe we should put our wings back on. I think so. Ah, oh, man. Let me eat. There's some copper. Let's go get that. We'll take the coal. Why not? Can always use more of it. We probably should put our wings back on. I'm just still really hoping I'll see a cave down here somewhere. Oh, hey, copper! That's a great sign. That means we're far enough out. Looks like it's becoming night, so maybe we will just stick down here. Alright, here we go. There we go. Dead end. Zombies! Hello. No. <laughs> don't get cocky, don't get cocky. I hear more. That's something. Is that iron? I'm gonna come look up here, but I wanna light the place up a little bit because I'm in danger. to go quite low. Whoa. Ooh, it's a mine shaft. All right, we will go down there. But first, let's go get the stuff up here. Ooh, there's some lichen. I don't think I brought shears with me. Goodness, come on. All right, I 
think it was... Nope, it was this way. Let's go get the rest of this stuff. Some more iron. Wow, there's so much more ore than... Seems like the ore rates are much higher than they used to be. Maybe it's just me. Or I got lucky? going to be playing Minecraft again. I missed it a lot. I do think I'm probably going to start- uh oh, I hear a spider. I do think I'm, I'm not going to go up there because it goes to the surface and no thank you. <laughs> I do think I'm probably going to start playing some kind of a more structured game in combination with Minecraft though. I think maybe like play a Mario or another Zelda game or something like that just because I like having a game with a goal in addition to Minecraft being very unstructured. Oh, don't fall down. Maybe I'll put a block here. Try to keep myself safer. Alright. Oof, wish me luck. That might go in lava. I want to get down there, but carefully. Let's see if we can just block this lava up. This one out and see if we can ride the water down. Oh, not until the lava dissipates, though. <gasps> no! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Whoo! Not again! Oh my gosh, this is really dangerous over here. I hear spiders. Oh, I'm really scared. I'm gonna lose everything again, aren't I? Oh, jeez. It's so broken up around here. Dang it! Oh my gosh. Ah, spider got me! I am gonna die! This is terrible! Eat, 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 eat! There's the spawner right there. Oh my gosh. This is awful. Hey, I need to take a breath. Whew. All right, I'm still alive. This is okay. But going back up that water stream is a bad idea because there's a spider in it and the floor is partially on fire. I might see if I can just tunnel through right here. And like, <laughs> I'm so scared. Let's go. Gotcha. It's a, I dislike having the floor all wrecked up underneath.
I'm probably gonna TP out of here, even though I feel like that's a little cheaty because, ooh, there's lava above us. I don't think I'm gonna have good luck finding my way back out again. I'll take the cobwebs. I'm just too scared. Piece of lapis. Oops. Fight, I'm not ready to fight on hard mode yet. I need a lot of practice. I'm scared to get it. There's the spawner. Can we light it up before they get me? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Oh, so scary. How awful would it be if I just walked into lava now? Am I out of torches? Oh, I am. I knew I would need a lot of them. Woof. I didn't get the spawner lit up. Oops, that's the wrong way. Let's try this again. I don't think that's enough though. I think it needs more torches. The hermit said something about soul torches stopping spawning. If that's true, I'll start carrying them. Mm, I'm scared. Come on, don't kill me, please. Oh, here. <laughs> I can cheat and teleport back. Here comes another one. I gotta get that thing lit up. Oh, maybe they're coming from the darkness? Here in Enderman. I hear another spider too. It's a bad place to be if they push me into the webs. Nice to have some string though. I don't think we have that much at home. Okay, that shouldn't be spawning anymore. I do hear zombies though. I don't think I should pick a fight with an enderman. Sneak around you a little bit. There we go. That's going a little better. <gasps> Look! Do you see it? There's a. Oops. There's an amethyst over there. Try to 
gotta light this up a little bit. It's so dangerous. Here, I wanna go see the amethyst, even though it's guarded. Maybe I can just lock myself in. Hear a creeper. Oh gosh, there it is. Stay away from me. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, where are you? All right, I kind of want to block this off. over here no 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 thank god for the bow and arrow all right Let's see if i can make this a little safer to explore and then I don't think we're going to stream for too much longer today. And that's a little bit of a short one. I'm feeling kind of tired. And I think we'll just have a little short stream would be good for me today. Do we need to slip touch this stuff? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, dear God. No, 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 no. I want to block this off. Just stay away from me. I, I don't think I have any more ways for them to get into me. Torches everywhere. Okay, so here it is, my first amethyst geode. What's this? Smooth basalt. And what's this? Is this just diorite? Yes, I don't want that. And if we still touch these, does it make any difference? It doesn't seem to. It seems a shame to remove this, but let's mine it out. If we can get the smooth basalt just by stone cutter with the basalt from the nether. I love the noises it makes. Hmm. Don't love this big opening up here though. I feel like you probably have to silk touch this thing. Oh no, don't throw your pickaxe. 
Medium amethyst bud. Amethyst cluster. So I'm wondering if I reassemble this at my house, if it will grow crystals? Or maybe there's no way to farm it? I'll have to look it up. like the basalt texture. Oh, my inventory's full. So far, I would call this a success. I've fought a few monsters on hard mode, I believe, for the first time in my life, and we haven't died yet. Calcite. Gunpowder, iron, we have extra cobblestone. I want this new stuff. Oh, we don't need broken golden leggings or broken golden helmet either. So what I think we're going to do, even though it's pretty cheaty, is get the rest of this and teleport back home. And now we know we can come around negative 1500 if we want to find this stuff again. We can get back into this cave and do some more exploring next time we play. Sounds like a good plan to me. And I can work on getting some more levels off stream. Go hang out at the skeleton spawner again to end off, even though it is pretty slow. Let's see if I can rack up a few more levels. Like, I'm not picking this stuff up. Smooth assault. All right, yeah, I think I'm gonna head back home now. I think it's like this. I hope this is right. Oh, it's not. Uh oh. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I did this. All right, well, on. Um, Oh my god. On that note, I think we're gonna go ahead and end the stream. <laughs> Next time I see you, I will hopefully have some of my stuff back again. I think I might need to reset the server to not hard mode and maybe don't just guess at my coordinates. All right, that's gonna do it for today. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, depending on when you're watching this, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!